Welcome to the Aero GS channel and in today's video we're going to be doing some work on an existing drainage system. We have a pop-up emitter here that dead ends with an elbow and these tend to always hold water at the end. This one especially because it has an AC drip line that drips in it 24-7. So what we are going to do is we're going to extend this drain line underneath the sidewalk and we're going to install one of our percolation tees with a French drain man pop-up emitter and turf restrictor plate. That way the water can just drain right over this curb and into the storm drain. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is dig up these areas and dig our trench down to the curb. And then we're going to find out what kind of pipe that we are working with here. This system happens to be Schedule 40 cellular core. So we're going to use a rubber boot to go ahead and adapt over to some SDR 35. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of water being held here and that's never a good thing. All that does is breed mosquitoes and that can also cause erosion problems underneath the sidewalk here in this area. If you're a homeowner or a DIYer and you're doing this project yourself, the two elbows with pop-up emitters that you're likely to run into in a big box store are either the black elbow with a slit at the bottom or the white elbow with just a single hole at the bottom. I can tell you from experience and from what we've seen out in the field for doing this, those, both of those, they clog up over time. Now, you could drill additional holes in the bottom of the elbow and this may help it may make it last a little longer, but I would highly recommend the percolation tee that gives you a four inch opening that water can still drain through. Now, in this video, we're gonna be showing you how a percolation tee works and why it is best to use a percolation tee whenever you have to dead end your system with a pop-up emitter. Now that we have the water drained out of the hole, you can see that that pipe is just dripping water. And like I said earlier, that's from the AC unit constantly running. So we have our tunnel underneath the sidewalk and we started our SDR transition from that Schedule 40 cellular core over. And we just simply used a no hub fitting, also known as a rubber boot or a fern co. These are excellent to use underground to make transitions. They hold up for a long time. Remember, depending on where you live, you may need to pull a permit to go underneath the sidewalk, or if the HOA community is in charge of the sidewalks and the roads, you may have to get permission from them before just going underneath the sidewalk. We have our drainage line almost complete. It's time to start installing our percolation tee. Now, in a minute here, I'm going to go in great detail and in depth on why to use the percolation tee and how it works with a little diagram that I have created specifically for this video. Once you have your T fitting in the proper position, go ahead and put a layer of non-woven geotextile fabric underneath it and then fill the T and the fabric with your drain aggregate. Now in this situation, it is okay to use pea stone because you are just leaching water into the ground. You are not trying to actually pick up subsurface water like you would in a French drain. Now in a French drain, you do not want to use pea stone because the stone is too tightly compact to efficiently move water through the stone and into your pipe. But whenever you're leaching water, it's okay to use pea stone. How does a percolation tee work? So I went ahead and created this diagram. You can pause the video if you would like to take a closer look at it. But basically the way it works is on a high flow application, water is gonna be traveling through the pipe at a very high rate of speed. And it is going to come up and out of the pop-up emitter and make its way onto the street curb or wherever the water is being discharged. Now on a low flow application, or if the rain event has ended, and the drain line needs to drain out, the water will flow and it will go down the T through the drain stone, through your geofabric and into the ground. And it will slowly percolate into the ground, allowing that drain line to drain out completely. Now remember, this method works the best in sandy and loamy soils. If you are in straight clay, as a clay pan, this method is not going to work that well because clay already holds water and does not allow water to perk through it. Now, it will work a little bit better than just using an elbow or a T at the end if you're in clay. And at least with, a, with the sun, it can dry out over time. But if you are in sandy or loamy soil, this method is by far the best method to drain your entire drainage system out completely once the rain event has ended. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you gained some knowledge from watching it. Give us a thumbs up if any of this content is helping you out. It really supports us. It supports the channel. We got the FDM, that's the French Drain Man pop-up emitter with turf restrictor plate all installed. We got the garden hose running through it, and everything is functioning perfectly. And until that next video, this is Arrow GS signing off. Thank you.